Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, State Farm, AutoTempest.com, and WeatherTech. One of the most common questions that I get is that, well, I took my car in for an oil change and the technician told me that instead of that thin, watery 020 or 520 or 530 that the manufacturer recommends, well, you need something that is really seriously going to protect your engine. You need 2050, 1040, some one of these really thick oils. Well, don't believe it. You see, modern engines are different than older engines, and going to a thicker oil, well, it can lead to all kinds of problems. Number one, it can lead to poor circulation in the engine because it's too thick. And that poor circulation can lead to problems such as we see here. We cut a valve cover apart. Now, this area in here that's all clogged up, that is part of the breather system for the crankcase. We had to put new valve covers on that engine because of this crud. We can see over here that we have another valve cover all gunked up with sludge and so on. Now, why does this happen? Well, back in the day when these oils were really popular, engines were made very differently. The clearance between bearings and so on inside the engine, like between the camshaft and the cam bearing or the crankshaft and the connecting rod bearings and so on, we could probably have measured them using an old-fashioned feeler gauge. But today, engines are built using modern technology, computer-controlled machining, lasers to measure things and so on. So the net result is that these modern engines are much more precise. They fit better. And the object of an oil, the number one thing, is to move between moving parts and keep those parts from touching one another. Well, when we have smaller spaces, we need thinner oil to fit through those smaller spaces. Now, suppose you put a thicker oil in on a modern engine. Well, one of the things it's going to do is increase oil pressure. Now, the variable valve timing works off oil pressure, so you might wind up with a check engine light and a code for the variable valve timing, which could lead to some expensive repairs. The other thing is that oil is the only thing that cools bearings inside the engine. Anything that's lubricated is cooled by the oil. And when we increase oil viscosity, what we do is slow down the movement of the oil and that means that the parts inside the engine are going to run hotter because there's less oil flow, and that means more wear. My recommendation, stick with what the vehicle manufacturer recommends. They spent millions of dollars figuring out what was right for your engine. And if you have a question or a comment, drop me a line right here at MotorWeek. <laughs>